All right, here we go. How's it going, Tunes of the World? I gotta go now, now, now! Ah! There's seriously no time for an intro. I need to head over to Pigment Point right now. Oh my gosh. Pigment Point! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Do I have gags? I need to get gags! Let's go get gags! I'm sorry. I'm really excited right now. I may or may not have abused my, uh, my Toontown power. And if you just started watching the episode, you probably have no idea what's going on, and this all came out of nowhere, and you just don't know what's happening. Let me tell you a story. So, last episode, if you didn't see it, I almost finished Daisy's Garden. Except I made a critical mistake. I actually feel really stupid right now. I'm so stupid. I chose... Oh my gosh. I'm so stupid. The last episode, I chose Minglers for Get the Key to Daisy's Garden instead of Legal Eagles, even though there was a Legal Eagle Invasion, and I felt really, really stupid. And so ever since that moment, I have actually had a notifier tell me whenever there is a mingler invasion. That way I can do this instead of having to go through eight buildings. Because that sucks. I'm actually going to die here. This is so bad. Why does this suck so badly? No, I can't do this. I can't. Why? <laughs> I have three left. This is bad. Run. Okay, now that I've calmed down a bit. Last episode, I was... Almost done with Daisy's Garden. I only have one task left to do. It is this one, a key from the Minglers. And it's really not fun trying to find Minglers. So I set a notifier on my phone to go off every single time there's a Mingler invasion. And it seemed like there was only Mingler invasions when I was busy or asleep. So I got on Twitter today and I was like, hey, bros, if anyone wants to summon a Mingler invasion, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And somebody actually did, which was really cool of them. And now I really need to uh, take advantage of this before it goes away. It's actually this guy right here. Like, look at, what a bro. This guy. Shout out to you, cool, tricky Electro Poof. You are literally my new best friend. Because I've been sitting here for like half an hour, just like hoping that somebody was going to summon a Mingler invasion. I've had Toon HQ open right here for the longest time. Just waiting. Oh, yo, maybe maybe I can help out this guy. Here we go. We got a whole whole group of people. This seems plausible now. I'm just really excited that there's finally a, a Mingler invasion, you know? Like, I'm just so flipping happy. And so that's why I'm a little energetic and just, just a little happy. Just a little bit. Make up for my past mistakes, you know? Except this bear is training, so. <laughs> oh, man. Another one. Yeah, we're probably, we're probably gonna die. Bear, you need to not train. <laughs> this is so beautiful that I finally got the invasion. I'm just so happy. Which one are you attacking? Why would you attack this one? What is wrong with these tunes? We got Trainee McGee over here and Holly Huckin... Huckin something. Huckin Barry. Who doesn't even know, like, basic strats of which cog to attack. Also, I went to Taco Bell today. Very happy with my purchase. I got a Quesarito and a Quesalupa. And I know the Quesalupa just came out, and so it's, like, the big thing that everybody wants. But honestly, it's, it's not that great. It's okay at best. The quesarito, though, that's my baby. I would eat quesaritos all day. Quesaritos, mwah, they're so, so amazing. Three minglers, please tell me I got the key. Show me, show me the good stuff. Show me the goods. Let's go. One key down, one to go. Gotta go turn that in real quick. Hey, what's up, Fatty McGee with the big head? I know, I know, it's not the right one. Just let me do it again. I know this task. I've done it like 80 times. Thank you. I'm just so excited. Ugh. I'm about to be done with Daisy's Garden. Honestly, though, this excites me like you guys have no idea. Toonie the Tiger, my Let's Play tune, is about to be done with Daisy's Garden, the third playground. And that's just, that's crazy. 16 episodes in and he's about to be in Minnie's Melody Land. Like, I almost cannot believe it. When I first started making this series, in my head, I was like, yeah, oh, this is, this series is going to go a long way. But I mean, do we really believe that when we tell ourselves that? In my mind, I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to go as far as I can. But I never really expected me to get past Donald Stock. I just, I didn't. So the Toonie got to this point and that so many people are still watching. The Toonie the Tiger series has grown so much and more and more people are watching every single episode. I can't believe it. I honestly can't. You guys are so awesome for doing that. What's around white and giggles? <laughs> no, this, that's not, that's not for kids. Like I, I'm just, I'm so happy right now. You guys have no idea. I know that's the only thing I've talked about so far, but that's just how happy I am. Hey, I got the second key already. That was so quick. I'm literally like, I don't even care. I'm just so happy to finally be done with this task. Guys, guys, we got to save for this moment, guys. I would like to thank my mama for birthing me and uh, allowing me to become the great man that I am to uh, 
be able to get to this point in my life where I can complete this task. I would like to thank my dad for being a very strong role model in my life, shaping me into the person I've become. I would like to thank my girlfriend for believing in me and uh, making me a lot of thumbnails. I'd like to thank my buddy Brian for answering when I call about how I have an itch on my butt and I wanted to share that with somebody. I'd like to thank my dog Skipper for wagging his tail and it made me happy. And if I was not a happy person, I would not be here now doing this. I would like to thank- Okay, let's just do it though. Greetings to the tiger, take this reward. You have teleport access to Daisy's garden. Yeah! But that's the end of Daisy's garden. I'd like to thank you all for watching and I will see you guys next time. Say bye, Tony. Hope y'all enjoyed. And if you did, <laughs> you kidding me? That's not the end of the episode. Trapper tune up. Let's do it. We got to get the mystical, magical quarter. Hold up. Two thousand years later. It turns out I'm a poor sap and I couldn't afford to have a quarter, but I got a nickel. We go heads for trap, tails for tune up. And it was tails. Toonie will have tune up. You can now train for tune up gags. That is exciting. Poor Wolfie. Moment of silence for Wolfie. That poor, poor kid. Time to start working on these other tasks. 15 cash bots. 18 cogs. Now that's what I'm talking about. We gotta somehow get to Minnie's Melody Land though. But since it takes forever to get to Minnie's Melody Land, I think I'll just uh, pull a random tune show and teleport. So uh, here we go. Three, two, one. Didn't take long at all. Gotta grab some gags real quick first before we go out and uh, do some business. Taking care of business. Waiting in line. No, it's my turn, Chester. Chester! It was my turn, I was here first. And of course, let's just go shut Clarabella up because it's that time of day. It's a funny sound. Fun fact about that sound though is that I know where it comes from. In the original TTO, Clarabella didn't make a noise. Whenever you called Clarabelle, just nothing would happen. Oh, okay, no, you just, okay then. Maybe, maybe this, uh, this bear? Bear and dog? Bear and dog? Building? Please? No? Okay. Okay, okay, maybe, maybe the dog. Come on, doggy. You know you want to help. Come on. He's, he's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. Hey! But the noise of Clarabelle actually is somebody from the TTR staff who added that in. From TTO, Clarabelle didn't make a sound. And I know that guy's name too, his name is Jacob. He's a really cool dude if you've never met him. You should go to OMGCon and meet him, that's all I'm saying. Shameless plug for OMGCon. But I remember hearing him actually go, Wah! like he does it really well, which would make sense because he's the one who does it. Jacob's the best at mimicking Jacob. Oh, poor guy. This is why I need tuna. I can help this poor guy out. I'm trying to think of what I can talk about and like what's happening and what's coming up. And the only thing on my mind right now is OMGCon. And that is something I'm really excited for. So I think I'll talk about that in a little bit of detail. OMGCon is right around the corner. Four months, four months, four months away. Three and a half. I can't math today. I spent 20 bucks ordering $7 worth of food. I can't even math. I went to OMGCon last year. I was one of the few people from, I guess, the community who went? Me, my girlfriend, obviously, and Ben Royko was there. And as far as names go, I think that's all you might recognize. But it was a lot of fun. I remember getting there the first night, right before the the convention, hanging out in the hotel room. I was super excited. I just could not. I just could not wait. Oh, there's a really embarrassing story I have too. I. I could tell that story. I think I'm just gonna tell the story, cause why not? It's behind us now, right? I did something really embarrassing the first night. And this is like, this This shows that I need to work on my boundaries too. So the very first night, my buddy Brian was streaming Toontown, right? He had like his normal 40 viewers or whatever. And it turns out that the TTR staff was in their hotel room watching Brian stream while I was talking to him in my own hotel room. And so he was like talking to the staff like, hey, what what hotel room are you guys in? We'd love to go visit you, you know? And one of the uh, the system admins, his name is JJ Coltar, if you don't know who he is, he's a cool dude. He gave him a room number and maybe it was the right room number, maybe it wasn't, but I was willing to take that chance. It was a really stupid thing for me to do. But anyway, he just gave me a room number. Just that's, I'm supposed to just believe this number that JJ Coltar gave me. For future reference kids, don't trust JJ Coltar. But they give me this room number, right? So me and my girlfriend go to the elevator. I was literally dragging her because she's like, Aaron, no, that's weird. You're creepy. And yes, it's creepy. Kids, don't do this. So we start going to that one floor that the room was on, right? 
We go to the elevator, and when we come out of the elevator, the elevator next to us opens up, and this, this guy walks out. And so we start walking down the hallway, right, looking for the room number. And all the while, there's just this guy who's walking behind us, like, looking at us as we're like, Is this it? No, it's down farther. And we finally get to this door that it has the room number on it, right? And it seemed a little fishy because it was kind of quiet. But here's the thing, and I, it really should have tipped us off immediately. The door next to it was really loud and rambunctious. Like, you can just hear that there was a lot of people in there having a party or something. But So we go up to this first door, and we're like, this, this, is, this is the number, you know? And we start, like, knocking on it, trying to, like, see if anyone's in there or anything like that. And while we're doing this, this guy behind us walks by and like goes to the, the door next to it in the really rambunctious area and he knocks on it and it opens up and he kind of slides in as we're still knocking on this one door and like when we knock on this one door this guy's like hello and we're like is JJ in there and he's like no you got the wrong room sorry and so we were kind of disappointed I don't know why didn't we didn't knock on the door next to it so we went back to our room and, and you know went to bed and then we woke up the next morning Headed to the convention early because we wanted to be there bright and early, be able to see everybody. And as we're sitting there waiting for the food to open, because it took forever the, for the food to open, we see the TTR staff walk in and they're walking by everybody. They're going to go up one of the escalators. And we see that one guy that was in with us in the hallway the night before. And I that's when I knew. So not only did we go to the wrong door, but they know we went to the wrong door. Oh, it was so embarrassing. I felt like a creepy dude. I felt super embarrassed. So guys, learn from my mistake. Don't do not do that. Don't be creepy and start knocking on doors looking for TTR staff members. Like, give them, give them their space, give them their privacy. I know I'm gonna definitely do that this year and I'm not gonna be creepy McGee. It's really just out of my character too to be like that, but I was feeling ambitious and excited, you know? Like, these are the people who, they rejuvenated my childhood. They brought it back for me to, to play and enjoy. When I did go up to their booth and started talking to them, it's just, it made me so happy to meet them and tell them what I thought and, and everything like that. I met Joey, I met JJ, I met Hawkheart, I met Boo Boo. I'm really excited to see them all again this year, too, because it was, it was just a treat. I, it felt so awkward, though, when I first went up to their booth because I saw... Sam there and Sam was the guy who was behind us in the hallway I think he knew and I knew and it was just I was like I'm so sorry I didn't mean to be creepy and follow you guys around in the hotel and he's like it's so it's a cool man Sam's definitely a, a cool guy so Sam if you're out there shout out to you I can't wait to see you again honestly the whole staff is just great people but that's my embarrassing story of OMG con and how you guys don't don't be poking around hotel rooms looking for people if I'm at OMG con and some random person knocks on my door I'm gonna be looking through the people. If I do not recognize your face, I'm not opening the door, and I'll probably disguise my voice. Is Mega Snoop in there? I've uh, never heard of a Mega Snoop before. Is that some kind of crazy drug you kids are doing? I'll try to be polite about it, but please don't be knocking on my door. But right now in the comments section, let me know if you are or aren't going to OMG Con, because I would love to know how many of you guys are there. I would love to be able to meet you guys and take pictures and stuff like that. I'll be for sure recording vlog. so if you're there and you want to be on YouTube, say hi with the camera and, and we'll wave and then, and then you'll spit in my face. That'll be sure to make it into the video. Please don't spit on me. But as you've probably already heard from my other video that I uploaded, there is going to be a panel that is hosted by me and Gag Strategist, Smirky Bumber Pop, Ben Royko, and Scars. And then if Quackity shows up, he will also be on it as well. And that just sounds like a really good time to me, so that's all I'm saying. One last thing I want to bring up is what happened? The day I'm recording this is the day that I uploaded the video, Unbelievable Golf Game. And if you've seen that video, it's basically, it's just, it's not like an amazing video. It's just a short video of me and my friend playing golf. He was winning, and at the very end, he was kind of taunting me. He's like, oh, maybe you'll win sometime. And then he takes his shot. And it goes into the hole, and then it jumps out, and it flies out, and he starts freaking out, like, what? You know, it was it was pretty crazy. You couldn't believe it. I thought it was hilarious. What I can't figure out is why everybody's commenting arf and woof and rough and what? what? The first, like, ten comments on it is just woof, arf, rough, lol, rough, arf. I'm guessing one of my friends had something to do with this. It was, it was either Squeak or Gag Strategist. It's one of you guys. I know you did this. Can't figure out what your motive is. What do you want from me? I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to finish one more task, which is uh, 
I only need three more cogs for it. Get a couple new tasks and get prepared for the next episode. And I'm going to avoid choosing this task at all costs because if you know this task, you know true horror. I was told there might be a way to get around that task too. Like if I talk to uh, one of the shopkeepers instead of the Toon HQ officer. So I'm going to just try that and see maybe it might work. I highly doubt it because it's just been a thing since the beginning of time that you need to have cream pie in order to get through Minnie's Melody Land. Like there are people who make anti-Ubers and try to get as high laugh as possible with the lowest gags as possible and even they have cream pie because they know you need it for this task. I've never seen an anti-Uber without it. Well, here goes nothing. Nope. See, it's still there. <laughs> I like this though, 25 level 3 plus cogs. It's not bad at all, it's not bad. I, I just want you to take a look at how beautiful these tasks are right now. Dream tasks. But just three cogs, yeah? Three cogs. You know, I just realized at this point, there's like a 50-50 chance that Toonie will be lureless. I don't know if I want Toonie to be lureless. It has to be this way. It has to be random decisions. I can't just choose, it needs to. But I don't want him to be lureless. But I think I would be okay if he was lureless. I think I, I could stomach that. See, if he's lureless, then I would like literally have one of every single type of tune. Mega Snoop is trapless. Evil Mega Snoop is tune upless. Mega Snoop Jr. is dropless. I was going to eventually make Fat Mega Snoop soundless. And then if Toonie the Tiger is lureless, that just kind of completes the circle. The circle of life. So on one hand, if Toonie the Tiger ends up trapless, that'd be great, you know? It's very common thing and, and whatnot, but if Toonie the Tiger ends up lureless, I guess I would be okay with it. I'll be honest though, I was like really low-key hoping that Toonie the Tiger was going to be tune upless, but that's out the window now, isn't it? With that cog right there though, I believe I'm probably going to end the episode. If it was a shorter episode today, I apologize, but hey, a lot happened. And if it wasn't a shorter episode today, then I didn't screw up editing. Hello Toonie the Tiger! Tune up animation number two, and I will choose the 16 level four plus cogs for a two laugh boost. That sounds really nice. These are nice tasks right here. That's all I'm saying. But here's Toonie starting a brand new adventure in Minnie's Melody Land. Toonie, you've grown up so much. I'm so proud of you. I just want to hug him. He looks so cute. But that's going to be the end of the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. It's you guys that make this series what it is and, and give me the motivation and the inspiration to keep doing it. So thank you guys so very much. I know I appreciate it. I know Toonie appreciates it. And I guess we'll see you in the next episode. Toonie is actually going to say bye today. He's going to thank you for watching. He's, he's getting better at this. I'm teaching him. And we will see you guys next time. Hope y'all enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to smash that like button. It helps me know that my work is appreciated. Leave a comment and subscribe if you're new. You can check out my live stream at twitch.tv forward slash megasnoop. Follow me on Twitter at megasnooptr, and I hope y'all have a toontastic day.